All right, let's go over Java 8 stream processing. And stream processing is a new feature in Java that you can do in any iterable class. And what you can do is treat iterables like a stream, and then you can operate on streams in parallel even. So, but first I'm gonna go over just a couple of common things like map, reduce, and filter. And in this video, I'm just gonna talk about Java 8 streams and map. So to set this up, I have a bean, just a pojo called product info, and it kind of represents a product, something that probably everybody's familiar with, like at a store, you've got a name, a UPC, a price, and then maybe like a quantity on hand, or maybe this is a, maybe this represents a quantity inside of your cart. Um, so anyway, this is a very simple pojo. It's got these four fields on it. It's got these attributes, and um, I've got a constructor here where you can create this and I have a uh, two string method on here. And then in my Java 8 map example, I'm creating four of these and then I'm putting them into a list of products. So this is this syntax is a little iffy looking, but I'm creating an array here of product info and then I'm converting that to a list and then I've got a new list here. So at the end of it all, I end up with a, a list of products, and I'll just prove that to you. I'm going to run this as a Java application, and you'll see that what we get is printed out as a list of product infos, and all of these details are filled in. So let's talk about stream processing. So how do you access this stream processing stuff? Well, it's really cool. It's on the uh, iterable interface. So you can say products.stream. Now we're treating it as a stream, and then on stream you've got all these methods like filter, map, and reduce, and etc. Um, what we're going to do is just a simple map, and this is this is a very common thing in like functional programming. A uh, map just means you take you take one thing and then you get back another thing. So it and it, it can be anything. You just get a filter function or a, sorry a map function that's going to do the transformation. Um, and it'll look a little weird at first, but it'll make sense. So what it's asking for in this, uh, this method signature is a function. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do an inline function. And what it's going to take is, and I'm going to spell this all out, although this syntax is not completely required. I'm going to say, uh, we'll say this is a prod info. And I'm going to do this new um, lambda expression. This is an inline function. This is a lambda expression on the map, and I can do an inline function this way, um, and that I don't have to do anonymous inline classes anymore in Java 8. So this is also another new part of the syntax in Java 8, where I'm inlining a function, and this is just an anonymous inline function here. Um, so this is called the lambda syntax. This is a lambda function, and what I'm going to do is take this one argument. This is this is a this is basically I'm iterating over these product infos. So think of this as a loop now. Think of this as a loop, and I'm just going to return the uh, product info dot get name. So it's going to return a string, and then at the end of this, I do something called collect, and I'm going to collect all the results of the stream. And there's uh, there's a nice um, utility here called to uh, list. So I'm going to collect all of these results into a list, and then I can actually assign this into a list of strings. Let's call it names. And then I can just print that out just to show you what I did. So we'll run this again as a Java application. Yes. All right, so you can see we created a new list of just the names. Um, and I'll just write this in the old syntax just so you can see like how concise this is compared to it. Uh, this is definitely a lot different. So you can see the steps. I'm going to kind of format this differently so you can see the steps. First, we're turning this into a stream. Second, we're mapping it to some other value. And then third, we're collecting it. And the difference would be if you did something like this, you'd create um, names of products new array list uh, and um, you're gonna have to first initialize something and then you'll say for product info p info and products and then you'll say names 
of products dot add p info dot get name and then you sys out that so this is the equivalent here let's just run run them both now this is the equivalent syntax in the old the old way of doing it this is like strictly procedural code where this is a more functional way of doing this um, I'm initializing a new array and then I'm adding stuff to it by iterating over it in this way I'm transforming the products into a stream and then I'm mapping over them and then I'm collecting the results into a new uh, set uh, into a new stream and then I'm collecting that stream into a list it's very very different but what this allows you to do is do things like parallel stream processing and we'll talk about that in a later video but basically this is just uh, an introduction to streams and this is the map function so here's map and then here's taking the products and using map to transform them into a list of names so alright uh, like or subscribe thanks for watching